Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing this $40 USB microphone kit from Gudolo. Now full disclosure, Gudolo actually sent me this microphone kit, but the review and my words and my thoughts about the product are completely my own. Now this is not the microphone kit. This is just the box. This is actually the microphone. And yeah, can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Alright, let's get into the unboxing and the review. Alright, so here is the box. As you can see, the box has company's name on it. It has a bit of lingo. Uh, don't really bother too much about the box, but let's open it. So, first thing you see inside of the box is the card, is the instruction, sorry. Uh, don't really bother too much about that. The next thing you would find is a card showing the pickup pattern of the microphone. Now this shows the ideal placement where you should be and where the microphone is most sensitive to the pickup. Next is a pop filter. This blocks the ears from the plosives. So your P's and your S's. You would not get any, any breath blowing through this pop filter and onto your microphone. Next is a desk clamp for your boom arm. Ensure that you see the adjustment knob for this uh, desk clamp because when I open this package right now, the, the adjustment knob flew off and it wasn't until I finished reviewing the product that I found it. So that would have been a concern I had that the desk clamp does not come with an adjustment knob, but it did. I just misplaced it while I was opening it. Next up is a shock mount. This shock mount isolates the microphone from any vibrations your table might produce. Um, th these vibrations would most likely be produced from typing on the keyboard or clicking your mouse or moving your mouse or anything. The shock mount isolates the microphone and dampens any of that noise. Uh, wind muff, wind muff, wind muff, windscreen, whatever blocks ear from going onto the microphone so you don't get any of that disgusting hissing noise you would usually get when you're filming outside next up an adapter for the tabletop tripod you would attach your microphone to one end and the tabletop tripod on the other end and this is the tabletop tripod see very small very cute very nice next item up on the list is a male usb a the male USB B cable. This cable is pretty long, it's about six feet long. But if you want a longer cable for whatever reason, go on Amazon and look for a printer cable. Next item, microphone boom arm, you know, standard microphone boom arm, nothing fancy about it. And last but not least, here is the microphone itself. It has volume controls and the mute button right on the microphone body. When the microphone is muted, the mute button turns red. When it's unmuted, the button turns blue. There are two ways to set up this microphone. I'll first show you how to set up the microphone on a table. So very simple. You attach the tripod adapter to the tabletop tripod and then you attach the tripod adapter to the microphone. The second way to mount it is with the microphone boom arm. So first you're going to unscrew the clamp and secure it to the table. Insert the boom arm into the clamp then attach the shock mount to the boom arm. Unscrew the bottom of the shock mount just a little bit. Then place the microphone in to the shock mount from the top. While holding the microphone in place, you screw the bottom of the shock mount in. Ensure you are pressing the microphone into the shock mount to friction fit the mic into the shock mount. This step was a bit cumbersome for me and I probably should have installed the microphone into the shock mount before attaching it to the boom arm. But it's whatever. 
I survived. Attach the pop filter to the upper support of the microphone boom arm, then bend the gooseneck to place the pop filter between the microphone and yourself. Attach the USB cables to either end of the microphone and hey presto, you just wait for the setup. Attach the USB cable to the microphone and to your computer or laptop. And there you go, you are just about set up. Alright, so I am at my computer desk. The, the microphone is set up in front of me. Let me zoom out. Well, you can barely see the top of the pop filter here, but trust me, the microphone is here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plug the USB, the USB cable into my PC. Then I'll show you guys how to set up the microphone in the computer. All right, let me readjust this, All right? Yeah. All right, so let me plug up the microphone first. There we go. We're setting up your microphone. All right. Wait, wait, wait. just waiting on it to finish and then when it's finished i'm going to see if it's automatically detected in my oh there we go set up and ready to go very nice literally plug and play right so right click this uh, what am i supposed to click sound settings or volume settings let me refer to the manual real quick sound settings all right, and it's already set here, microphone input. So let me go back here. Let me open up OBS. Now let me, while I'm talking through here, this microphone is about uh, three feet away from me. That's the Taxstar uh, 598 or something like that. And Gudolo microphone is right in front of me and I can't hear myself so I'm just talking right now this is just the pure audio that is coming out of the microphone I am not going to adjust it this is how the microphone sounds with the audio that is raw and unedited with no filters attached so this is a microphone test with my Tagstar microphone that I have mounted on top of my DSLR and this is the audio test of the Gudilo, Gudolo microphone that is mounted in front of my face on this boom arm. Let me zoom out. Oops. Out. Let me bring this up. Ta-da! You can see the microphone and the boom arm. Alrighty. Hello and welcome to the FSX Stout channel here on youtube.com forward slash FSX Stout and twitch.tv forward slash FSX Stout. Today I will be doing the last four legs. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. Yes, last four legs of the French bush trip. Uh, Le Blanc to somewhere. Like, I, I can't remember the name. We're coming up on point nine to four. Not that. This one. Horn of mullets. I'm just gonna call that mullets. Follow the roof request. Horn sheep. Be of mullets. Look at that. Oh, and magnifique. We get some some milieu. And since this is the last the last four legs I'm doing, I kind of want to finish this quick. I don't want to be like circling circling around the airport to uh, lose altitude. Okay, and this is the last this is the last high peak. I need to ensure that the autopilot doesn't put me too close to this while I'm descending. So let me check. Point ninety seven. That was just point ninety seven. We passed there. 
above the peaks of Saint Etienne de Delivoy. All right, and then your pilot will turn us back. Let me see if I can see that. No, nope. can't see that yet. Turn us to the right, and as soon as we get to the waterways. This looks very landable. Alright, okay, there's the water. No! Don't crash. Bastards. Oh no. But wait, 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 wait. I will not panic. And that was my review of the Good Holo U100 USB condenser microphone kit. If you are interested in purchasing this product, the affiliate link will be the first one in the description down below. So I'm pretty sure if you heard the, my first sound test, you would notice how bad it sounds. And that's because I turned the volume on the microphone all the way up and I had the volume on my sound recording software all the way up too. So it's very choppy and very not natural sounding. You would also notice during the stream test the microphone sounds a lot better and a lot more natural that's because i realized my mistake and i was using a different software to do my streaming right now in this outro i am recording using the microphone i'm holding it handheld and it's recording straight to my computer when i was editing the voiceover for this entire video i recorded it using this microphone and the only processing I had to do was turn up the volume just a little bit. Thanks for watching everyone. If you're interested in more tech videos and photography tips when I do eventually get around to making those, feel free to subscribe. It's free. Like this video if you like it. If you have any questions about the product, leave them in the description down below and I'll see you next time.